Alzheimer's disease is a degenerative neurological disease that destroys neurons and causes the brain to deteriorate over time. Despite billions of dollars spent on clinical trials through the decades, Alzheimer's disease remains one of the most devastating diseases in the world, affecting more than 5 million Americans alone. Researchers estimate that this number will double by 2050. While we don't have a cure for Alzheimer's yet, in a recent breakthrough, researchers developed a vaccine that has shown promising results against Alzheimer's disease. With Alzheimer's, there is a large buildup of two proteins called amyloid and tau within brain cells. The accumulation of these proteins results in the formation of toxic plaques and tangles which disrupt neuron messaging and cause many of the notorious symptoms associated with Alzheimer's. The new vaccine, known as DNA A-beta-42, uses DNA from these two Alzheimer's proteins. Upon injection, the vaccine triggers an immune response in the body, which leads to the generation of antibodies. These antibodies fight against the toxic amyloid plaques and tau protein tangles and stop them from accumulating in the brain. So far, the vaccine has been tested in mice, monkeys, and rabbits and has been shown to cause a 40% reduction in beta amyloid and up to a 50% reduction in tau protein in mice. What's more impressive is that there were no adverse immune reactions. A previous experimental vaccine caused brain swelling in 6% of the participants after it was injected into their muscles, making it far too dangerous to be usable. Therefore, researchers injected this new vaccine into the skin as opposed to the muscle, which proved to be more successful and did not cause any brain inflammation. Researchers hope to begin human trials soon. If the vaccine is proven safe and effective in humans, it could cut the total number of dementia cases in half. It is still unknown why these toxic plaques and tangles start to build up in large amounts in Alzheimer's patients. But bacteria seem to be playing some kind of role in Alzheimer's development. Scientists who were studying brains from deceased donors found variations in bacteria types and numbers between the healthy brains and those with Alzheimer's. This could be a key to figuring out how Alzheimer's starts. The disease can go on for many years without symptoms, but as more and more proteins accumulate in the brain cells, the cells lose their ability to function and eventually die. Most people with Alzheimer's start having symptoms after age 65 although some people have shown signs as early as age 40. For many people, the first sign of Alzheimer's is a change in memory, but others may have changes in mood, language, or thinking skills. Although Alzheimer's is not curable at the present, researchers are developing tests to detect plaques and tangles before the symptoms appear. This will allow the researchers to stop the progression of the disease in its tracks before the situation gets out of control. One such test is a blood test that can detect the Alzheimer's disease up to 20 years before the symptoms appear. The test identifies the buildup of amyloid beta in the blood, which is normally the first sign of Alzheimer's disease. Accumulation of this protein starts long before the first symptom of Alzheimer's. In a study of 373 Australian and Japanese patients, amyloid beta buildup was accurately predicted in more than 90% of cases using the new blood test. If the test proved to be suitable for widespread use, doctors could then provide individuals with an effective vaccine after identifying these early signs through a blood test. The vaccine would prevent further protein buildup, thereby halting the progression of Alzheimer's. Billions of dollars have been spent on Alzheimer's research, and more research and funding are still needed. But in recent years, scientists have made incredible progress. And because science builds on itself, these new understandings, coupled with rapidly improving medical technologies, could lead to treatments, and even a cure, far sooner than we thought decades ago.